do you remember when I started the sketch when I was back in 2015, the first episode? Yeah. I asked you, how high can your frame rate be at 1080p? Yeah. You said 30 frames per second at that time. Yeah. So we did 30. I wanted more at that time. This time, the option was open to us. But why high frame rates? Why high frame rates in general? Um, silky smooth. Like, what's, what are you shooting this at? Now, if you're interested in the technical side of filmmaking, shutter speeds, f-stops, frame rates, that sort of thing, then you've probably noticed a big difference between the stuff that I shoot for myself and the stuff that I shoot for Thomas Medina. Most notably, the frame rates on Tom's experimental anthology series, The Sketch Files. Mr Wentworth. Good morning, you must be Mrs Fern. Oh, Paula, please. James. Oh, call me Paula. Why? It's my name. Oh. On the set of After Tracy back in 2015, Tom managed to discuss our friend Jacob Hazeldean with this idea of shooting 30 frames per second. It just sounded too abnormal, especially in a PAL native region. Me, on the other hand, well, he was starting to win me over. Um, and 30, I'm, I'm becoming more and more fond of it, I must say. Um, in CinemaScope? Well, that, that'd it, be weird. Well, it that would be weird? weird, but it's up to you. Come and take a look at my dad. Lying on the sofa, feeling glad. Come and take a look at my dear old dad. Having the best nap he's ever had. Come and take a look at my mum. She's in the kitchen with a apron on. Come and take a look at my mum. How good's the frame rate looking though, hey? I don't know, but high frame rates, like, I think if you take away the whole cinematic prejudice thing, I think it looks better. There are two main video formats in the world, PAL and NTSC. Most modern camcorders have the ability to toggle between both standards, but television sets in different regions might struggle to play back both. NTSC is the standard for North America, most of South America, most of Japan and a few other regions that run on 60 Hz frequencies. Regions such as Australia, the UK, China, Indonesia, South Africa and most of Europe run on 50 Hz circuits. So, how do these electricity circuits affect frame rates? There's interlaced and progressive video. Basically what it means is interlaced uh, is two half frames flashing one after the other in a quick succession and progressive is an entire frame shown in its entirety. Traditionally, TV sets would show half a frame with each refresh and so a 50 hertz TV would show 25 complete frames per second. Nowadays, we watch video content on screens that can manage 24, 25, 30 or 60 frames per second seamlessly. Um, and this opens up the door for creators like Tom and myself to be a little bit more creative with frame rates, if we want to. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's because it's the niche area where, you know, everyone else does care about their resolutions. Yeah. Not many people care about the frame rates, so I feel like I have to push it a bit more myself. I feel like it's a personal, you know, little battle. There's only so high you want to go. But, um, <laughs> and how high do you want to go? Um, look, 120 is your maximum. If I could shoot HD in 120, you would do that? Yeah. <laughs> but no higher. No higher than that. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, no. 